Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for uh, Monday, uh, May 29th, which is also Memorial Day. Um, and I would just like to uh, especially remind everybody that this is Memorial Day for the men and women that have served in our country uh, in the armed forces. And some are or another, be it uh, a member of the armed forces themselves or the wives, mothers, and children who um, serve right along with the soldiers um, in, in support roles because they sacrifice as much as the soldiers themselves. So um, let's, um, let's remember them today too and their sacrifices that they have made to our country and of course the soldiers that have paid the ultimate sacrifice in laying down their life for our country. So this is what we have Memorial Day for and this is what we need to remember today and Memorial Day for is uh, remembering the lives of the soldiers, men and women that have laid down their life for our country. So uh, please remember that today and say a special prayer for those that we have lost. Um, and also on Monday, we read our prayer list and there have been a couple of additions. So uh, I'll read those. I'll read our list to you, okay? Uh, starts with Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, Annie Knight, uh, Amy Smith, Kelly Manier, Cindy Wynn Robert with Pups and Crochet, Linda Coulter and Family, Marsha Norton and Family, Lisa the, Lisa the Grammy, Alana Hawkins, Deborah Hypes, Amarina Gilbert, Camper 14, also known as Tina, Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy, Sheena Sorrells, Destiny Sorrells, Mama G Gear, Linda Just Another Crochet Sister, Sandy It Was Crochet A Canada, Penny Green, USA Podcaster Gloria, uh, Rachel Crawley, Flynn, Kirsty McKenzie, P Paula and Don Mahoney, Nakima Bias, Jerry, Joanne uh, Bar Baroni, Bar Bar I'm missing, I'm messing that up, but Joanne, uh, Jen Apple, uh, Peggy, Dwayne and Mich Michelle, Bonnie Myers and Karen Woodward. So please just remember those folks on, to, on today. And when you say your prayers throughout the week, just remember those folks that have asked us or that I've added to the list to pray for them. And I'll read our devotion now for Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th. It starts with a Bible verse and goes as follows. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. Philippians 3, uh, I'm sorry, Philippians 2, verses 3 and 4. Now our inspirational story. Years ago, I visited my brother-in-law during his basic training, and I was enthralled. The barracks filled my vision, an army of identical d dormitories lined up like soldiers ready for battle. How could anyone feel comfortable in such a sterile environment like the enormous ca ca castrons where the soldiers resided? Their lifestyles also reflected um, mon monotonous and uniformity and discipline. But the individuals walking the grounds were unique in, in, in invisible ways. While one not, might struggle with physical pain, another batted, battled homesickness. As one spent sleepless nights praying for courage, another celebrated a promotion. So many differences, yet they all shared one characteristic, a willingness to defend the freedom of our America, their beloved country above all else. I left the fort impressed. Jesus possesses that depth of love and shares it freely. When he sacrificed his life, he ensured my citizenship in heaven, preserving my life for, for eternity. Because he put his, me first, I found shelter in him. Today I honor my loved ones and soldiers throughout our country's history who've given up their time, energy, uniqueness, and for 
some their very lives. Like Jesus, they have humbled themselves to be part of a greater whole. I don't need to worry about losing my freedom. Now or ever, I can trust the armed forces and Jesus to protect me. I am safe and sound, body and soul. Heidi Gall. Faith Step. Make it a habit to thank those in uniform for their service. If you know a soldier or veteran, reach out and show your gratitude today. I can't think of anything better to do. I know I randomly will see, because we live near an Air Force base, and I'll randomly see a soldier, or an Air Force airman, or maybe an officer, I don't know, and, and they'll be in their BDUs, and, and I'll just randomly thank them for their service, because I don't know if anyone has bothered to say that to them lately. And I'll just, I'll tell them, you know, thank you so much for your service, sir, ma'am. And um, they're always happy to hear that because it's not something that they might not have heard that that day, you know. Might have had a bad day and just need to hear that to keep going. So just uh, remember that if you see somebody in uniform and uh, whether they look happy or sad or whatever. And just, you know, tell them thank you for your service. Whether it be a military person, a policeman, a EMT, firefighter, just thank them for their service because sometimes they just they they can get bogged down and you know and sometimes forget why they're doing what what they're doing and uh, just that little bit of thank you for your service might be the reminder that they need so um, I want to thank y'all for watching um, subscribe if you're new it's free and um, remember that I love you and so does Jesus and uh, I'll see you on the next one bye now